is undoubtedly the most mysterious and popular of GAN's financial market calculators. Here is something about this strange number wheel which intrigues all who see it. One wonders what it is about this spiral number chart that so piques everyone's interest. Is it simply the promise of great fortune for decoding the secret calculator of a legendary market master? Or is there something more subtle, something mysterious, ancient, and unknown that resonates deeper in the being of those intrigued by this chart? Upon exploration, we are pleasantly surprised to find that the square of 9 is something that extends far beyond being simply an interesting trading tool of a legendary forecaster. In fact the square of 9 has a history which extends into the far reaches of antiquity, deep into its ancient mysteries and sacred sciences. It is said that Gan discovered the square of 9 in India, a story that has not been verified, but would not be surprising since the square of 9 may be found all over India. Ancients chose this design as the basis for their most holy and magnificent achievements for an important purpose. We see in both the Egyptian and Vedic traditions that the square of nine has, since the beginning of time, been used as a measure of the relationship between man and cosmos. Perhaps by understanding the role it played in ancient times we may derive some insight into how we may apply it to the manifest realities of our time. It is this value which makes the square of nine so intriguing to all who see it. There is something to it which transcends the conscious mind and reaches far back to a subconscious racial memory, finding something mysterious which draws one's attention to this strange mathematical calculator. This course, while perhaps not revealing the infinite mystery of this most ancient of diagrams, goes further in revealing Gan's use of the square of nine as a market calculator than anything that has ever before been presented. We are excited that this material is currently being made available, and hope that it serves as inspiration for further research and appreciation the great wisdom that has been passed down from antiquity through the ancient mysteries. The numbers that run through the center in the shape of a plus sign are the cardinal numbers. The numbers passing through the center in the shape of the letter X are diagonal numbers. In the first cycle, there is one digit around the center, dividing each corner by 45 degrees. The first cycle starts with 1 and ends with 9. The second cycle starts at 10 and ends at 25. The third cycle starts at 26 and ends at 49. In cycle 1000, there would be 1000 digits or cells separating each 45 degree angle. Technically, the number 1 in the center is a complete cycle and would therefore be cycle number 1, but there is a nice simple mathematical relationship to the cycle number and the difference between numerical values of the 45 degree angles when you count the square of nine numbers in this manner. To fully appreciate the square of nine in terms of its geometric origins, take a look at the large chart of the square of nine that is included with this course. Try to visualize it as a pyramid. At the very top or apex of the pyramid is the number one in there are four equal sized triangular walls descending down to the pyramid square base. If you remember, the numbers on the plus are called the cardinal numbers. These numbers are all separated by increments of 90 degrees, i.e. 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees and then 360 degrees, which brings you back to the location that you started from. The numbers on the X, which connect the four corners of the square base, the corner numbers, also are separated by increments of 90 degrees, giving the appearance of an Egyptian-style pyramid. The cardinal plus and corner X numbers divide the square base of the pyramid into eight equal divisions of 45 degrees, hence its other popular name the octagon chart. 
If you look at the square of 9 chart, you will also see circles or rings, which have been drawn around certain squares. The last circle has calendar dates that revolve in a clockwise fashion around the square base, which starts from the date March 21st. This is the vernal equinox, when the sun is at 0 degrees Aries, also known as the one day of spring and represents the beginning of the natural year. Notice how the square completes at the corner number x361 on one of the 45 degrees angles of the square of 9, the 315 degrees angle. If you started with a zero in the center, it would have came out exactly at 360. The third method is very simple. Just take the price from any vertex or base. Then we square it and divide it by 24. 24 is 24 hours a day. It is also important to note the number of the day of the reversal. First, there should be a reversal day number in the center. After that, we find the result 89. In this cell there is a future day of the price reversal. It is on the same day that the main trend reversal occurs. For another example, let's look at the graph. We choose the price and the date at the same time. Multiply the price of 122 by 122 and divide by 24.